<clears throat> now, a few things I like to talk about the Growler. One thing is that uh, the Growler was first of five nuclear-armed submarines in the world. Uh, her mission, while she served in the U.S. Navy, was to patrol off the coast of Russia. It was then the Soviet Union. Uh, there, the idea there was that if the Soviet Union ever launched a nuclear attack on the United States or any of our European allies, that no matter how devastating that initial attack would have been, we would still be able to mount uh, a nuclear counteroffensive. Uh, now, the Growler's uh, primary weapon uh, was uh, one of these uh, regulus one nuclear cruise no, no, missiles. No, no, no. Uh, now, no, while the Growler no, 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 no. was patrolling, these missiles would be armed with a hydrogen warhead. Uh, this warhead would be about a hundred times as powerful as both the bombs we uh, dropped on Japan at the end of World War II. To give you a little bit of perspective, if this bomb were to, were to go off in the middle of Times Square, it wouldn't just destroy Manhattan, it would destroy all five boroughs as uh, well as a bit of New Jersey as well. Very, very devastating weapons. Thank goodness we never had to use them. Uh, now, to give you an idea of uh, the life on board, uh, the, uh, the, the crew of the Growler would usually have uh, about three months patrols uh, where they were patrolling the Bering Straits area. Uh, there would be uh, around 100 people on board, give, it to, give or take a few. Now, these men would only uh, usually get a shower once during that cruise, so you can imagine the smells weren't particularly pleasant. To add to those smells, smoking was very prevalent. Uh, the Growler served from 1958 to 1964, very short span, uh, but uh, that was one of those spans where people smoked a lot. Also, to add to the smell, keep in mind that this is a nuclear-armed submarine, not a nuclear-powered submarine. This was a diesel-electric submarine. That meant that uh, there were big diesel engines that are actually going to be passing them uh, toward the end of the tour here. These diesel engines uh, would be run uh, every uh, night or so, and uh, these engines would uh, power the electric batteries uh, that uh, actually uh, powered the engines while the uh, submarine was submerged. Uh, so as you can imagine, that adds to the smell as well. Uh, now right now, I'm going to go ahead and take a walk through the growler. A uh, few things I do want you to keep in mind before you do so. First off, you can take as many photos as you like. We do ask you to uh, be aware of your surroundings while you li line up those shot shots and really get it back in to please not touch anything. Everything in here is 50 years old. If anything breaks, there's absolutely no way for us to, uh, to replace it. So uh, please be mindful of the people who are going to take this uh, tour after you guys. And with that, you guys can go ahead and start moving on in. If you have any questions, you can either ask me on your way in, or uh, there's going to be another tour guide, Daniel, about halfway through. All right, you guys can go ahead and start moving on in.
Hey Chris, you need to run back. Huh? Yeah, that's all right. Kevin, it's like our hotel room. Except they have a sink. And it's bigger.